Hi again, this is Masood and it's another part of designing YouTube website using CSS Grids. Uh, before we start, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel in order to uh, see notification of uh, new videos about uh, programming every week. Uh, in this episode, we want to implement the left sidebar of YouTube website. As you can see here, we have some icons and text and links to the several pages of uh, YouTube website. We need to implement this and it must be responsive. As you can see, we have another uh, sidebar, the small one that uh, opens when the width of the page is lower than a specific value. and uh, we also have some animations on it that we will uh, work on them in uh, next uh, episodes. Uh, so let's add it in this uh, sidebar to our uh, last project. Uh, I have added all the necessary codes of the sidebar section inside our HTML5 before and uh, currently we don't have any SLI for them so as you can see, they are not showing well, so we need to write uh, some CSS rules for them to be the same as the YouTube sidebar. I need to define a display attribute for the wrapper and make it a grid system. So wrapper display should be grid and also I need to use grid template areas to define how many sections uh, does my website have and what are the name of them. So I need header, 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 and another header. It means that all four columns should be for the header part of my website and all will be one uh, column actually and also I need sidebar videos 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 and in the next row we don't have any header here and we just will have a sidebar in the left side and the another column will be for the videos so uh, I need also define uh, each column size so grid template uh, columns it must be 20 200 for the pixels for the left sidebar and 1fr 1fr for the other uh, columns and yeah it's enough and here I need to make some changes. I should place the header part at the top of the page. So in the top, I need to define grid area to a header. Yes, and it works well. Uh, let's write our CSS for sidebar class. Continue from here. The sidebar width should be 240 pixels. And I want the background to be white. And The color should be black. Also, I need to define some CSS rules for uh, the children. Here I got a UL, another UL for, I guess, for every part of this. This is, this is one UL and this is another UL, another UL. So. I need to define 
sidebar ul li and set the display to grid and also I need to have two columns for the sidebar so grid template column and I don't need the repeat here I just the first column I need to set it to 24 pixel and the remaining space should be calculated for the text and I need a grid gap for it grid gap must be I guess 20 pixel or it's better to be 24 yeah and also I need a padding to 8 pixel yes and I need to set align items to center as you can see when I'm using align center it's mean it means that I'm aligning the these tags vertically with the icon let's remove it and you can see that they are not aligned together so I should use align items here to make them centered also I need padding for the li element it must be from top and bottom 20, 10 pixels and 23 pixels for uh, sides yeah as you can see it's getting near to this and we also need these lines between each ul so write the css rule for our ul's and border bottom must be one pixel solid rgba and zero 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 and also i set it to be a, a little bit transparent yeah it's so nice also i need a padding here to be better from just top and bottom I don't need any padding for the sides okay here I have a SVG and a title and here I have some titles I need to set a style for them sidebar title must be at first uppercase so text transform uppercase yes and also I need a padding for the left side 18 pixels yes and I need another padding for the top must be 10 pixels sorry and I need to set display to the block for the paddings to be applied yeah and what else I need uh, let's change the color a little bit so color RGBA and 7 yeah now they are really better let's make them a little bold so I should use text uh, wait oh sorry it must be font weight 
to 600 yeah it's really same as the original one and it looks really really good I need to change our cursor to the pointer what's the problem oh sorry I should put it here yeah also I need when I'm moving mouse on them I need to make a little background for them so sidebar li hover and set the background color for it it must be rgba yeah it's really better and also i need set a background for the first child so sidebar again uh, ul first of type the first ul only needs to have background color as you can see the others uh, don't have any background color so uh, i should use first of type it means the first ul in the sidebar and also the first li in the first uh, ul first child and the background should be same as this one okay it works properly and finally i need to make a positive value of these icons so again sidebar ULLI SVG tag should be opacity. I'm using a variable that I defined it before icon opacity. So as you can see it's it looks as we expected like the original site and uh, this sidebar now is good, but we also need to have some uh, responsive functionality for them. For example, to have some turn transitions and change the sidebar based on the screen width. So be with us in the next episodes uh, to teach you how easily you can use a javascript to have this kind of uh, uh, toggling the sidebar and don't forget to subscribe to my channel in order to get notified whenever the new episode, episode release out thank you guys for watching bye bye to next video